Greg McCoy joins us, the healthy living expert who just happens to own Hidden Gym in the DFW area. Greg, welcome to the program. Hey, guys. Good to be here. Appreciate your coming on. There was a, uh, the old mantra you hear about when you're going to the gym is no pain, no gain. I've always operated with the no pain, no pain <laughs> mindset. Makes it a lot easier. But uh, apparently science has now debunked no pain, no gain. Uh, well, it's it's a nuanced subject, so um, there is some truth to no pain, no gain. But I would say, you know, probably more appropriately, is you could never say it's all pain, all gain. Um, you know, it's if you're going to get two hours, two and a half hours of exercise in per week, which is you know, which is what we would recommend. Um, only only about ten percent of it, I would say, you would you enter the pain zone. Um, and, and if it all depends on your goals, you know, and how fast you want to get there. And if you want to speed things up, you know, you, you may, uh, you may be in the pain zone a little more often. Um, but if, if you're in a sustainable place, um, you know, you're, you're really not needing it to exert yourself to maximum effort, uh, very little, even that's even with, um, with an athlete, you know, their, uh, their training in what we would call the red zone, max heart rate or, um, under failure, if it's a strength training exercise, there's only should only be 10%, uh, maybe 20% if they can really recover. So um, it's certainly, uh, it, you can't just say, uh, you, you know, it needs to hurt all the time if you want to get anywhere. I know for me personally, when I was 23, it was pretty easy to recover, even if I did have a really painful workout and, you know, really, you know, a couple hours in the gym and run six or seven hours and I could recover pretty quickly. Now, if I lift more than, let's say, six beers in a day, I really have to deal with the tennis elbow. But I'm 53 and not 23. I'm guessing age has something to do with that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's hilarious. But um, yeah, no, well, it, I wasn't it, kidding. It <laughs> it's hilarious till the hospital comes. Sure, it definitely does. Re- your recovery slows down, and so you have to you have to work smarter, not harder, um, as as you get older. Because you know, as you've experienced, your your recovery uh, declines, and you your reco- you make progress outside of the gym. You go to the gym, especially with strength training, you break the muscle down. Um, and, and cardiovascular activities too. You're doing the exercise, and the benefit comes when you recover. And so, if you're not recovering, that's when you can, uh, you know, actually go work hard to go backwards. Is walking enough? Yeah, it, that can be up to eighty percent of of your exercise for the given week. Um, you know, it's like I said, whether you're um, just trying to to stay fit or if you're an athlete, the you know the bulk of your training is going to be sub maximal. And by what we mean by that is, you know, maybe a six out of ten, seven out of ten on a difficulty scale. So nothing where you're ten out of ten exertion or you know pushing to to the point of extreme discomfort. Can you outwork a bad diet? You cannot. Uh, well, I mean, technically you can. It, it'd just be really, really hard. I mean, I think. On the extreme side of things, we're all very familiar with Michael Phelps' story, right? I mean, the guy's having to house down 14,000 calories of Mexican food every day just to hold his body weight. But he's also swimming six hours a day. So, yeah, you can, uh, but it's pretty hard. I I know that Men's Health does a great job. They'll publish these stats about, okay, if you eat this, what does it take to burn it? And it's like, you know, you have two slices of pizza. you got to run for an hour and a half, and it's like, man, you can really get behind fast. Um, so it's it's pretty hard to work off a bad diet, especially if you know it's day after day. That's really depressing. Two I slices know. of pizza, and I got to go jog for an hour and a half. An hour and a half. <laughs> what is that all about? I'll tell you what I got from Greg today. If I walk up to the liquor store, that's about two miles, <laughs> right? And if I get sixteen ounce cans instead of twelve ounces, I'm technically that's lifting more weight. That's true. Have I picked up, at, Greg? Have I picked up what I was supposed to pick up from this interview? I'm not sure. <laughs> You sound like a yeah front front row student. Sweet, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, right. Greg. Greg, uh, where do you find Hidden Gym? Yeah, HiddenGym.net or any social media platform you can find us. Okay, Greg McCoy is with Hidden Gym. He owns the place. Uh, thanks for coming on. Thanks, Greg. Greg. We'll talk to you again. Thanks, guys. Have All a right. great day. All right, you too.